Welcome back to the YouTube channel. The focus is a bit mad. Uh, makes me look hella white. <laughs> but welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Hope you're all blessed and well. Before we get into this, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification because Alhamdulillah, yes, we finally did it. Finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah! Thank you to everyone who subscribed to the journey so far. It's really been appreciated. But with not with uh, with that being said, let's get into the intro. Let's go. Right. So today I am basically gonna be trying on my thobes that you see in the thumbnail. If you haven't seen it, I've tried them on one by one, and I'll give you the breakdown of what I like. We'll start with the most basic one first the white thobe um, so uh, you know let's do some magic okay so your basic everyday white thobe that you go to the Jumu'ah with you know it's got a nice little pocket here it's got a nice little pocket here these two because the way the way I'm dressed right now I've got tra my tracksuit bottoms below you know when you got Jumu'ah at 1 o'clock and then football at 3 with the lads <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I got mad energy for this but basic nice white simple you know good vibes typical Jumu'ah but this is not what I'm wearing for it this is just a thobe haul so I bought this as a casual thing and I got the black one so let's get the black one now yeah let's do some magic again Whoosh. okay so this is the black one same thing, it's literally the carbon copy of the white one. You've got pockets here, you've got a pocket here, you know, you can lift it up, you know, fluidity and motion. Because I'm not gonna lie, you should always be wearing something below your thobe. Just because, you know, modesty and that. Simple black, alhamdulillah, very blessed, very happy. Um, this is something I would just wear just to go out with the lads to be honest this is something where cultural stuff and then I'd probably slap on white or black trainers with it you know keep the fit going and that but the masterpiece which I will show you now is my personal favorite and they're very 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 nice so <gasps> right the last one look at this one this one is just it's simple but elegant like look at it white with gold details on this bit and a nice little collar this is my favorite one shout out to the person who picked this for me because I told them you know pick three for me and I'll buy them so I did so shout out to you uh, am I gonna say your name absolutely not because you know exactly who you are and then uh I let the comments try figure out who it could have been. Um, but this is very, very snug. The fit is nice, you know. This is what I'll be wearing with Aid. And oh yeah, come on now, is Aid if you're not wearing white trainers with your white? Oh no, come on, jeez. Um. I've had these though for like two years. No creases. Shoe trees are so important to making sure that your crepes don't crease. So uh, yeah. Ah, oh, I actually realized I am so unfit, but this fit though. Oh, oh the way the lion adjusts for the girl's bit. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, this fit is. <laughs> it's been a few vibes this year, but. Jokes aside, right, let's get into the discussion. Like, this is just a thought, but also want to give a, you know, just a bit of pointers and education to those who are not Muslim and uh, so that they understand what Eid al Fitr is. So, just give me one sec, I'll change back into my tracksuit bottoms and I'll be right back. All right, cool. My camera is mugging up, so I've gone to my iPhone to get this all sorted, but nonetheless, just to explain to you guys a lot more. Ramadan is the ninth Islamic month of the Islamic year and uh, the Islamic calendar, I should say, and we are in year 1443 so far 
So Ramadan in itself is more than just fasting and you know like um, not drinking water and not having food from sunrise to sunset. There's a lot more that goes into it. You got a lot of stuff like you know you got taraweeh prayers that you got to do. Uh, well, you don't have to do, but it's sunnah to do so. You've also got stuff like you know giving zakah, giving sadaqah, which means just giving to charitable and giving it to those who are the less fortunate who are in need of it. Um, and just to make you aware, um, just to answer the sort of taboo question a lot of people need to understand that this if you see a woman eating Ramadan eating during Ramadan or you see an elderly person eating during Ramadan or you see a pregnant woman eating during Ramadan or you see a young child eating during Ramadan please be mindful and don't ask stupid questions like oh my god why are you not fasting they are exempt for those specific reasons as a woman who is pregnant or has to breastfeed is exempt an elderly person or a sick person is exempt and a woman that is on her time of the month i should say i'm going to be very careful but when a woman is experiencing her time of the month she is exempt from fasting because it is states in islam that a woman on her menses cannot uh, fast because obviously it's just what allah has decreed so that should answer some of the basic questions and just to go through the stupid questions that we get asked every single year oh my god can you guys even have water no we cannot from sunrise to sunset we cannot have water oh but why can't you have a bit of food god won't know i was like trust me listen you little demons they say oh a little bite won't hurt it's okay don't break your fast i'm like listen you nincompoops it will hurt because we don't answer it for now we don't answer it for now we answer it in yom al-qiyamah which means the day of judgment so please be mindful and be considerate of your questioning when you're speaking to people because you need to really understand the fact that we don't do this uh, because uh, it's like it's a test from us. A lot of Muslims really enjoy looking forward to Ramadan because it teaches us to, you know, experience, like, be, be in a situation where we can experience levels of humility that we wouldn't experience in the day to day lives. And it also teaches us to be grateful for everything that we have because a lot of a lot of people don't have the basic necessities. They don't have access to clean water. They don't have access to regular food. They don't even have. That's just how Subhanallah Adim. That's just how things are. So like, okay, cool. Yeah, I did a I did a, a haul of the three thelbs I bought. But I also wanted to educate some people just in respect of Islam itself. Like, you really need to understand us Muslims. We're not punishing ourselves in in this respect. This is something known as one of the tarbiyat uh, tarbiyat Islam. And then, so like, um, it's known as the five pillars of Islam. And Saum, Ramadan, fasting, is one of them, along with Zakat, Salat, um, I forgot the others. Okay, my mind glitched for a second, but uh, yes, sorry. Pillars of Islam, Shahada, Hajj, Saum, Zakat, and Salat, which is pilgrimage, uh, saying the Shahada, the, decl the, pro the, proclam uh, the declaration of faith to worship on Allah as the only and sole messenger in Islam. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the final prophet of Allah Akbar. And then you got salat, which is your five fard daily, your five fard, which means obligatory, your five daily prayers, which are fajr, duhr, asr, maghrib, and isha, and shahada, uh, salat, zakat, psalm, fasting, um, which is you know fasting for Ramadan and Hajj. However, this is only a, this is only this is one of the ones where it's sort of like a grey area. Hajj is only encouraged to those if it does not cause them financial harm because of how expensive fad hajj has been getting over the years as time has gone on and on and right now i think the last time i saw a hajj package considering what you were spending i think for like a family you're spending upwards of at least 10k for a family let's say your basic family of four you're spending at least 10k on flights hotels you know uh visas everything that comes with the hajj experience itself but hajj is something i definitely want to do and inshallah i can do it i'm busting the gut to work hard and make sure i'm able to complete that just once in my lifetime i'll be set for life that's honestly the one thing i want to do uh, hopefully and i think inshallah when i get married i'll do it as part of the stage after the honeymoon where i go hajj with the missus whoever i marry at the time inshallah khair um, but hopefully that educates you guys a lot more on Islam because what you need to understand, I think, with Islam itself, like Islam is such a beautiful religion. Islam itself is a perfect religion. It's just the people that aren't. Like we're humans, we're seen, we're, everyone is a born sinner. Everyone makes small sins, big sins, medium level sins. Everyone makes sins on a daily basis, whether you know it or not. That's just how subhanAllah the life is. Uh, for us Muslims so when we see Ramadan we're not punishing ourselves guys we're actually so blessed and we're so happy when Ramadan comes around because believe it or not when Ramadan comes around for a lot of us including myself it comes at the most perfect time when a lot of us are just somewhat 
lost in, in theory of where we are supposed to be, if that makes sense. So hopefully that helps. Hope, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate all the uh, the, the support so far and helping me forget, helping me forget, <laughs> helping me to get to 1,000 subscribers. Alhamdulillah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below on which one you like the most and uh, which one you think should go with the white air forces I showed you earlier. On that note, take care, peace. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notification, follow the socials that popped up throughout the video, and uh, take care, please. Take care, please. Ramadan Kareem, you know, we're approaching the last 10 days of Ramadan right now, so stay safe, enjoy it. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take care, peace. I love you all. Bye. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan.